The dirty little secrets of retirement. <gasps> juicy, juicy. I've got eight of them for you. And for any of you people watching out there, you want some secrets you gotta confess, send me some comments. I promise, I won't tell anyone. So here's number one for you. A lot of seniors retire with tons of credit card debt. Yeah, not the best place to be for, let's say, your children. Okay, what happens with that? From your estate, all that debt is taken away, obviously, before any of it goes to your children. I have a friend of mine who his wife's parents, uh, unfortunately, the father passed pretty soon, um, you know, much sooner than expected, let's say. When he passed, they found that he had tens of thousands of dollars in debt that not even his wife knew about. So this can happen, guys. Yeah, talk about a dirty little secret. How would you feel when your husband or wife passes away and all of a sudden, all these charges hit you that you had no idea about? Yeah, dirty little secret, I think that's a big one. Number two, even sophisticated, the most sophisticated retirement plans you can think about. They will not cover you 100% in your retirement to ensure that you have money throughout your retirement. Yeah, doesn't matter how much you pay a financial planner, a retirement planner. It's not 100%, guys, no matter what you think, you could have be invested in 25 different things. And, you know, by the way, shouldn't be invested in 25 different things. You should like minimize it to like three, four, five at the most. You know, do you really need it? I mean, in S look at the S&P 500. You know, you don't need much before besides index funds in investment. But there are some financial advisors that will say, hey, you're set. You are set. No, you're not always set. What happens if you live a lot longer than the, you expected? No financial advisor or retirement planner can see that coming. Neither can you. So what I usually go for in my assurance of my retirement plan when I'm looking on an online calculator, if I'm 90% and up, I'm good with that. You're never going to be 100%, guys, no matter what anyone tells you, no matter what someone who is charging you, let's say, 2% of your annual you know, investments to guide you through retirement, no matter what they say, it's not 100%. Yeah, some people think it is. It's not, no matter what you pay them. Number three, women need more of a retirement nest egg than men do. Why is that? Because they live longer, you know? And the sad thing is that for a lot of women, they earn less than men as on a whole. Um, so it's hard to build up that retirement nest egg they need, you know, especially if you're a single woman retiring, you know, that's hard because you usually live a lot longer than men do. You need more money, women, you need more money. You got to start saving just as early as men do. Early 20s, stick to it. Yeah, you might need more than we do when we pass away 10 years before you do. Number four, even if you have a million dollars saved for retirement, which a lot of retirement planners suggest you do, that might not be enough, guys. That might not be enough. So there is a big dirty little secret that some retirement investors, or excuse me, planners are saying, you need a million bucks for retirement. No, in some areas, if you retire in like Los Angeles, New York, you need a lot more than a million, unless your expenses are very, very low. If you can keep those expenses very low, you're looking good, okay? That's the whole idea about retiring on, let's say, a moderate nest egg. And for people watching me for the first time, my name is Dwayne, and this is a retirement channel for people on moderate income. If you think you might like that, think about subscribing and like the video as well. And if you really like it down here, you can buy me a coffee. So a million dollars doesn't mean you're just all ready to go. 
Depends on the area you live in. If you retire to the Philippines, yeah, I think you'll be good. But if you're in like normal United States, expensive area, you better rethink that and save more than that million dollars if you know you're going to retire in San Francisco. Number five of the dirty little secrets. Ooh, so dirty. Taxes can decimate a retirement plan. This is something that a lot of people don't think about. Let's take an example. You know, if you decide that you need, you can get by in $50,000 a year from your retirement savings to live on. Guess what? You're going to have to include taxes in those withdrawals from your retirement account. So you've got $50,000, tag the taxes that you were going to owe on top of that. You would think they would, but a lot of people don't even include taxes in the retirement planning. Now, if you're going through a planner, a professional planner, which I suggest a lot of you should, if you're not totally sure about your plan, a fee-only fiduciary, of course they're gonna tell you about taxes, but guys, especially you, 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 those of you that are younger, taxes are a big part of your retirement. Now, if you can keep it low, your expenses low, like I have been so far, so far I've been lucky, I'm in the 12% tax bracket, so I'm okay. But those of you who are planning on needing a lot more you know, expenses or will have expenses, need more money to cover it, you're gonna be up in that 20% plus. Gotta keep taxes in your retirement plans. A lot of people don't, especially if they're going off, off their plans on their own. Number six, this goes along with taxes. Unless you're going through a certified planner a lot of people don't take inflation into account. Yeah, that shouldn't be a dirty little secret. That's just, that's just a big, big thing that should be looked at hard. Inflation. Look at two years ago, how we're a year and a half. Where were we, guys? If you don't take that into account in your retirement plan, which a lot of people don't, you could be in trouble. Okay, you could be in big trouble. A lot of people do not take that into account. What I like to do, as I've said in videos before, is I overestimate inflation, okay? I overestimate my taxes as well. You know, I don't go huge overboard, but my, I might add a couple percentage points to both of them. Inflation, maybe a percentage and a half, let's say. Uh, 1%, 1.5%. Can I even talk today? I can't. You got to take this into account when you're doing a retirement plan, especially on your own. Inflation can just eat away at your nest egg if you're not taking account of that. Number seven. For a lot of people, this may come as a shock. Social Security was never meant to fully cover your retirement expenses. It was meant to help. Way back when it was created, I believe in the 30s or 40s, this was meant to help people get through retirement, not to just cover all their expenses in retirement. Some people, they don't plan for retirement saying, yeah, Social Security will take care of me, man. I'll be good when I get there. You might not, unless your expenses are incredibly low, or let's say you made a decent amount of money, you had a good salary, but then when you went to retirement, you took those expenses way low. In that case, you might be lucky. But for the vast majority of people, it doesn't cover all of your living expenses. It only covers a portion of that. It wasn't designed to cover everything, okay? That is a dirty little secret for some people. If they just are planning on just relying on their Social Security. It doesn't work that way, guys. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. And number eight, for some retirees, if they don't plan correctly, they might have to move in with their children. Don't think it doesn't happen. Let's not say it's tremendously common, but it happens more than you think. People that have not planned correctly for retirement, you know, is that going to really get out there that much? No, it's a dirty little secret. People don't want you to know. But some people have to move in with their adult children let's say halfway through their retirement because one, they ran out of money. Two, they never planned correctly in the first place. It happens guys, it happens more often than you want to think. So 
This is where planning comes in. Plan, 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 as I say at the end of almost all my videos, and you guys are probably nauseous over it by now. But it's so true. I'm gonna repeat things over and over again in these videos that I think are true. Number one, because a lot of people don't see, the majority of people don't see all my videos. I gotta keep repeating stuff that I think is very important. So plan, 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 so you won't have to move, move, move in with your adult children, okay? There you go, guys. There's some dirty little secrets. Shh, don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. And just remember, as always, we got this.